B. Love helped put Bronx Drill on the map, but most fans have no idea what he went through to make it to the top. From surviving one of the deadliest gang wars in the city to selling out shows almost overnight, this is the story of how it all went down. The Bronx ain't a big place, and there's a ton of different sets beefing in the streets. A lot of dudes come up on a certain block and rep it their whole life, but B. Love's situation was different. B. Love came up in the Cortland Projects, which is an area controlled by a set called the OGs. The OGs used to run Cortland with another set called the YGs. They were all the same crew back in the day, but after some internal beef, they split up and have been at war ever since. The OGs also have beef with DOA Seth's side, and that's where B. Love's situation starts getting complicated. He reps the OGs, but back in the day, he spent a lot of time in Seth's side territory with his family and has been tight with K-Flock and Dougie B since they was kids. B. Love's been into music for damn near his whole life. He was a big fan of Chicago drill rappers like Lil Durk and G Herbo, but it took a long time before B Love actually hopped in the booth and took it seriously. He dropped a couple of tracks around 2015, but they didn't pick up any buzz, so B Love left the studio and hopped right back in the streets. He ended up getting booked in 2018 and had to cool off for a minute. It's not clear what he actually got booked for, but rumors say it was a gun charge. He could have ended up being another street dude going in and out of jail for the rest of his life. But instead, B Love decided to switch up how he moved when he came back home. By 2020, it had already been five years since B Love dropped his first tracks. But all of his time in the streets and in jail made him realize that he needed to take rap more seriously. He hopped back in the booth and started recording new songs. And this time was way different. His track No Hook popped off and ran up crazy numbers on YouTube. And B Love's success helped convince Dougie B and K Flock to get in the booth too. The three of them helped put Bronx Drill in the spotlight, but B Love was still taking losses in the street. In 2020, B Love's homie Brandon B. Diddy Hendrix was at a birthday barbecue in the Bronx. B. Diddy was a basketball player who was heading to college and not affiliated with the streets at all. But unfortunately, gang members ain't the only ones who get caught up in the mix. At some point during the party, someone started letting off shots and hit B. Diddy in the neck. The police said he wasn't the target and was just in the wrong place at the wrong time, and B. Diddy tragically died on the scene. His death made B. Love want to go even harder in the booth, and he shouted B. Diddy out on the track If You Know You Know when he raps, Bitch, it's OGs or no Gs. Hop out and I oot like Ginobili. Rest in peace Diddy, he clutched like he Kobe. B. Diddy didn't bang a set, but that ain't stopped B. Love's ops from dissing him. When it comes to Bronx Drill, nothing is off limits. And on the track G's Bop, D. Thang took a shot at him with the line, We smoking dead people. That's Benji, Yui, and Diddy. I told my gang that we gonna keep one in the city. D Thing is allegedly K Flock's blood cousin, but he reps the YGs, so he's ops with his own family. D Thing has issues with B Love, too. And on the track Wedgie Man This, Wedgie Man That, he rapped, C Blue, you a kid, nigga, just stop all the capping. B Love, you a clown, nigga, I know for that feature you taxed him. Then B Love clapped back on the track If You Know You Know and said, Why that goofy put me in a song? I can't wait till I catch Lil D Thing. I let that sing, now we in a song. B Love, K Flock, and Dougie B were all popping off, and they took it to another level when they linked up for the track Brotherly Love. The song ran up crazy numbers and has over 30 million views on YouTube. Just a couple months later, B Love signed a major deal with Columbia Records and was on his way out of the streets. But at the same time, his homies were getting wrapped up in cases that could easily get him locked up for life. K Flock started dropping tracks after B Love, but he blew up even faster and was becoming the face of Bronx Drill. But while B-Love was more focused on making it out of the trenches, Flock got caught in a sticky situation and allegedly killed a dude named Waka back in December 2021. Waka was homies with another rapper named E-Dot who reps the OYs. E-Dot was coming up in the industry at the same time as B-Love and Flock, but back then they were all cool with each other. Another OG's affiliate from Cortland named Shy K was chilling with them too, but after something went down, it split them all up and sparked a massive wave of violence in the city. E-Dot had dropped his viral track Ready for War and a crew called Structure invited him to link up. There wouldn't have been any issues, but Structure was cool with a set called RPT, and they had beef with K Flock and Seth's side. According to rumors, Edot went to the spot to show with Structure, but when he got there, some dudes from RPT was already there too. Edot didn't have beef with none of them, so he allegedly just posted up and chilled with everyone. And that's when Flock decided Edot and anyone he rocked with was an op. Shaw fell out with K Flock and Dougie B over the situation because he didn't want to cross out E Dot, and he's been dissing them ever since. Like on the track Don't Forget That, when he clowned Dougie for getting shot in the leg and said, Don't run, I ain't let him trip. Hop out the V and niggas up the blitz. DOAK, all that shit to my dick. Dougie B, he got shot in the leg. What the fuck? Free Keem, because I know he gon' up. After E Dot started beefing with K Flock and Dougie B, the streets got hot fast. 
There was three murders allegedly related to the beef in the summer of 2021, and a few months later, Flock allegedly killed Walker after Walker pressed him on the street. The entire situation left B-Love in the middle of a war with homies on both sides. He still reps the OGs, but he's been locked in with K-Flock and Dougie B from the start, so he wasn't just gonna turn his back on them when everything popped off. Shy K has sent a lot of crazy shots at Flock and Dougie, but B-Love is still rocking with him and even featured him on his new project, Sorry for the Wait. B-Love being cool with people on both sides has gotten him a lot of hate, and Leech really called him a free agent because he's not really down with the set. B-Love is a free agent. I don't know where he's from. Then B-Love clapped back and said that his hood doesn't have issues with the flockers. In an interview with No Jumper, the fuck is a free agent? Like, what are yeah. you talking about? Like, anywhere I be um, is with niggas I know. Like, you feel what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Nigga, like I said, nigga, my mom used to live over there. Like, uh, uh, yeah, absolutely. You feel what I'm trying to say? I grew up with niggas. Like, I yeah. went to school with niggas, new niggas since, for me, bro, 10 years old, 8 years old. But B Love ain't just focused on street politics in the Bronx. He's trying to take his career global. Last year, he linked up with Digga D, who's one of the biggest UK drill artists in the game. He's also working with mainstream stars like Corday and A Boogie with the hoodie and taking everything to the next level. B Love wasn't always on live spinning the block and getting into all of the street drama, so he's not in the spotlight as much as dudes like K Flock who make headlines all the time. But even though his name doesn't get mentioned as much in the blogs, B Love is still making history for Bronx Drill. Back in January, he became the first Bronx Drill rapper to receive an RIAA certification after his track My Everything went gold. B Love is on his way out of the trenches and into the mainstream but his wins have come with a lot of losses too. His little cousin and godbrother both died, he's had homies get shot and killed, and now one of his best friends is facing the death penalty. While Flock was already locked up for allegedly killing Waka, he got hit with a RICO indictment that included seven other alleged members of Sev's side and Third's side. According to the indictment, K Flock took shots at the Ops in June 2020 and November 2021, and the feds are already offering his homies deal so they'll flip and help put him away. Flock's homie Sticky said they tried to get him to talk or said he'll be facing 30 years, but it looks like he's staying solid and holding it down. A few weeks ago, Flock hopped on IG to write a message to his fans about the situation. He let everyone know that he has a good heart, but he's been hurt from everything that happened to him in the past, and that he's struggling even more now after losing two homies to gun violence while he's been locked up. K Flock has always been one of the wildest dudes in the Bronx, but he recently announced that he wants to change everything and is starting to stop the violence campaign to help put an end to all the death and violence happening in the city. It's not clear if Flock will ever see daylight again, but B Love is holding it down in the industry right now. He's already made history once for Bronx Drill, and it don't look like anything is gonna slow him down. If he stays focused and doesn't get wrapped up in any of the street drama, he could end up taking Bronx Drill to a whole new level.